All right, so this is how we get a TurboGrafx-16 CD-ROM emulator to work on your Wii. Uh, first, we're going to use Wii Engine 1.5 BB. Uh, let's see, let's go to the first website here by GBA10th.net. All right, now we're on GBA10th.net. Um, right here, you can see where you can download Wii Engine 1.5 BB. So you're going to click that, and then the next thing you're going to want to download is SYS Card dot PCE, which stands for PC Engine, I believe. So you click that. Okay, and then go to the second one, Bio Files from MU Paradise. We're just getting the BIOS in order to run uh, CD-ROM TurboGrafx-16 games. Scroll down all the way to the bottom. Okay. And you'll see down here at the bottom, uh, SYS card 3, and it's a zip file. Click it. And it should download. All right, now once you've downloaded those, Oh, you also need to download, you can use the same website, ROM emulator, MU Paradise, to download your ROMs. Just simply go back up to Features and Selections, ROM, ISO. Scroll down. Go to PC Engine CD or TurboGrafx CD right there. If it loads. And I think MU Paradise is the best one to use, best website to use for this because they put all of their uh, CD-ROM material in a Q and bin file. All right, and so there it is alphabetized. All right, so that's where you can get your ROMs. The ROM that I chose for this video is right here, Ease 3, Wonders of Ease. It came out in 1991. Okay, but let's get out of that. So here is my ROM, Ease 3. Here is the Wii Engine 1.5 BB that I got. And then here is the SS Card 3, the bio ROM that I got for off of MU Paradise. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to insert your SD card. Okay, and then you're going to open folder, view files. Alright, as you can see mine's already got a bunch of stuff on it because I use this quite a bit. Uh, this is my homebrew uh, SD card. So we're going to go to go back up here to the Wii Engine and we're going to right click it and we're going to extract all. We're going to extract it to the desktop, not the SD card, the desktop. Okay, now it's extracted to the desktop. There should be three files here, as you can see. We're going to go to Wii Engine. You can see it's got our boot icon and meta. We're going to take that and you're going to click it and drag it and put it in your apps, which I have already done. Apps, Wii Engine, Boot Icon Meta, it's there. Okay. Next, you're going to have to set up a directory. And the way the directory is set up, if you look at the README here, is you've got your root, which is your SD card. Then you've got apps, which we've already taken care of. Then you're going to have to make a file called ROMs. And inside the file called ROMs, called ROMs you're going to have to make uh, a file called PC Engine. And that's going to be your directory. So let's get out of that. So here's our root, because this is where, this is the root of the SD card. You can see I already made a file called ROMs. I made another file using new folder called PC Engine. Okay. And now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to 
go back. We'll leave that up for now and we will minimize, we'll exit out of this. Now in your PC Engine folder, that's where you're going to be putting your uh, ROMs. So, well, we, but before you can do that, if, if you have just a regular, if you're wanting to play just a regular TurboGrafx-16 game that's not on CD, um, I have Bomberman and R-Type, you can just simply take this zip file, stick it in there, and it should work just fine. However, if you're going to play CD-ROM games on your PC Engine, uh, that's a little bit more complicated. Go back to that file, that, go back to the, let's exit out of this, or minimize this. Go back to the file that had your Wii, it had those three files in it, SRC, Wii Engine and Change. It's the file you extracted. Go to SRC, okay, click on the first one, bin Q split, okay. And you'll see an application here called bin Q split. Next, uh, extract your ROM that you downloaded. Extract files, your game. So I'm, I'm going to extract ease 3. Okay. Okay, after you've extracted it, here's the folder it got extracted to right here. You're going to open up your extracted game, and they'll usually come with some pictures to go with it for other applications. You're going to see here you're going to have two folders. One's going to be a bin folder, the other is a Q folder. You're going to, let's move this over here, you're going to take the bin and the Q folder, you're going to select both of them, and you're going to drag them and open them with bin Q split. So we'll take these and we'll drag them. And right, so it says open with bin Q split and release. Publisher cannot be verified. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. We're going to run it. And you should have a screen that looks like this. It says processing file track one OGG. What it's doing is it's taking all the uh, music from the CD-ROM and it's turning it into an OGG file and the uh, ISO file that you see right here, number two, that is actually the second track, that is actually the uh, ISO file that uh, the game is on and all the OGG files are uh, music. So we'll have to wait for this to finish processing. Alright, once you've done that, the bin and cues split, it's going to close itself out and you're going to have a folder that looks like this uh, right next to your bin and cue file. So you're going to click on that folder, double check it. You're going to see all the music tracks and then you're going to see in this right here, number two is a disk image file, that's your actual game. But the most important file is down here and that is your excuse me, that is your TOC file, tote file. That is, that is what actually puts these tracks in order. and it, It's the uh, lead into the game. The best way to explain it is just to read the readme. They have a whole section in the readme about what this file actually does. But that's the most important file, is the TOC file. Okay, now that you have done that, let me minimize this. Uh, Okay, we will put the SD card in, uh, which we've already done. Let's go to computers, go to SD card. All right, uh, double check in apps. Yes, you got the Wii Engine apps. You've created your, by this time, you've created your ROM folder called ROMs. You've created your PC Engine folder. Okay, you've got several games in here. Let's see. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ease, that ease folder, not your bin or your Q folder. You don't need those anymore once you've extracted them using the, the bin and Q splitter that's provided with, uh, with the uh, emulator. You're going to take the new folder that you just created, the one with the TOC in it, and you're going to click it and you're going to drag it 
and you're going to drop it into here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I've already made the folder. So once the folder's in there, you're going to click it. Make sure that you have your tote file. Okay. Now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your SS card, your system card 3, and you're going to take it to that folder and you're going to, this is the part that was so confusing. Some people have a way, some people said that you, that's all you had to do at that point, you could stick the uh, SD card in and start playing the game. Uh, this part I had to figure out on my own because I could not get my game to work. Uh, you had to take the SD card and put it in the same folder as what it was in. Uh, move and replace. Let's see, I've already done it, so we're just going to cancel it. So it's going to show up there in the top. Then you're going to go down to that toke file at the very bottom. You're going to click it. You're going to have to open it with a you know, open with I have notepad. So you're going to open it with notepad. And you're going to type this in right above where it says lead in. Lead in is what opens up the tracks. You're going to type the directory SYS card and then you put colon and then you're going to put SYS card and the name this is the name of the file it's a zip file so you're going to type in SYS card 3 dot zip and I think unless I've only done this once or twice so you might have to do this with every game or I don't know if you have to do it with every game it might become automatic after the first try but that should do it and so after that after you type that in, uh, all you have to do is take it out and put it in and it should play. Okay, so we're going to load up our Wii with the, we have the SD card inside. We're going to go to the homebrew channel. Uh, right here you should have, it should look like this, you should have Wii Engine. PC Engine Emulator. You're going to load it. Best thing about this version is that it's a classic controller compatible if you've got the 1.5 BB version. Alright, so you've got some other games on here. We're going to go to Ease 3. Uh, and you should see here's the System Card 3 zip file. There's the ISO track, that's the actual game. And this, you can't really see it, but it's this is the TCO file. This is what you want to load, is the TCO file. Click A. And then it says push to run, so you push start to run. Whoops, I don't want that. Go back. Push to run. should work just like that. If you, do, if you have any questions or comments just feel free to ask and we'll try to help you figure it out because some games are a little bit more stubborn than others. <laughs>